Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, we are going to be talking about Yankos. This video is not really about this season as all at all. This video is mostly speculation, um, just kind of like some theory crafting, thinking about different roster moves, offseason changes. You know, that's kind of what this channel was built up, built up off of this past offseason was all the the like uh, potential moves and stuff, and then actually some of the moves that did happen. So thinking forward, thinking ahead uh, to maybe next season and maybe next offseason. Uh, I know we've talked about uh, maybe G2 going after self-made in the past and how that could really just affect the overall overall landscape of really League of Legends around the world and uh, today we're kind of talking about a new potential landing space for Yankos and I just kind of want to discuss how uh, feasible you guys think this is would you guys like this move would you guys like this idea uh, and giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on it as well we're definitely gonna get those kids in the comment section that are like oh you're clickbaiting you're clickbaiting so hey just be ready for that. I'm just letting you guys know. But the whole point of this video is just to have a discussion, talk about a new idea, and something that really could happen. It wouldn't be anything crazier than has happened the past couple of off seasons. But before we get into that, I just mention real quick, if you guys have not already, please, please, please click that subscribe button really quick. It's fast, it's free, it's easy, helps you guys stay up to date on all my latest content. I would appreciate it a ton. Also, smash that like button. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, and it is one of the easiest and best ways to help support my channel if you are interested in that. With that being said, let's get right into this. This tweet really starts out um, from a tweet from Applehead. He is a uh, really good resource uh, on Twitter. Uh, he was a really, really he, he was one of the guys with obviously a ton of the rumors and speculation and stuff over the offseason. He was a great follow for that, so definitely go check him out on Twitter if you're not following him, on, following him already. He's been uh, just an awesome resource for me um, the past couple of months. He tweeted out uh, in November, something to note about this offseason changes that makes uh, teams even more terrifying. Both Team Liquid and 100 Thieves have access to an import slot within the year. Now, that's not 100% sure. That's just him speculating. He's pretty sure, uh, you know, this is his prediction. Both Core JJ and Someday are on their third year of their green card application, which is often when they are accepted. What this means is that 100 Thieves can choose to import a mid laner in the future and that TL could import a jungler in the future. Jesus, man, just when you thought they couldn't get any better. Um, so, this kind of got me thinking. Uh, I mean, this is an old tweet, uh, but he did retweet it somewhat recently where he said, as times get closer and closer, who would you choose to upgrade on these rosters? TSM's also getting close uh, with POE entering the final stages, um, which I think is really, really interesting. So this got me thinking. Uh, so I wanted to kind of look into it a little bit more. What is interesting to me is that Santorin actually only has one year on his Team Liquid contract. He just signed with Team Liquid this offseason. They only signed him through 2021. Santorin will be a free agent starting November 16th, I believe is the exact day, 2021. They did not lock, lock him up long term. They are not committing to him long term. Now, in comparison, Alfari, another player who was signed this offseason, is signed until 2023. They did want to lock up Alfari. They did not necessarily want to lock up Santorin, or Santorin didn't want to lock himself in with them. Who knows exactly what the situation is, but for whatever reason, Santorin is only guaranteed to be on Team Liquid for one more year. Now, that opens up the possibility. Obviously, Team Liquid... Uh, if Applehead knows this stuff, Team Liquid knows this stuff, that Core JJ is likely to become a North American resident at some point in 2021. Maybe it'll be in between spring and summer split. Maybe it won't be until the off season, uh, but hopefully it does happen sometime. They, again, the third year seems to be that, that golden sweet spot. Now, Corona could affect things. You know, uh, it's, it's been a crazy couple of, couple of months, couple of years now. Uh, we're going on the second year of this craziness. Um, so who knows exactly how it'll affect that. But Team Liquid is at least hoping that potentially they'll have an import slot open. And again, if Tactical and Core JJ are locked up, Jensen and Alfari are locked up, that leaves the jungle position as a position where you would import. And that got me thinking, what would the options be? Well, one... We know that self-made is going to be a free agent in the coming season. And self-made would definitely be an option. I mean, uh, yeah, Team Liquid would probably throw some crazy money at him. Would he be a guy willing to come over to North America? Who knows? Would he be the best fit for Team Liquid style? Maybe. Team Liquid is constantly saying how they want to be a more crazy, aggressive team. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of the future of League of Legends right now. That seems like the teams who play crazy, fast, fast, aggressive, and can do it successfully are some of the best teams in the world. Now... 
would self-made fit in well with a guy like Jensen? I don't know. I don't necessarily see self-made as like the prototypical um, team liquid player. And I don't know if you'd want to, want to come over to North America. You know, who knows? That is one option. Another option that has been discussed a lot is what if self-made is a free agent and he goes to G2? That's got to be a very, very realistic option. Who knows what's going to happen with Yankos? Is he going to retire? Is he going to get traded? Is he going to get sold off? Would Yankos getting traded or bought out by Team Liquid be an option? Now, I see Yankos as a guy who fits in with Team Liquid's play style much, much more. Yankos can play the tank junglers. He can play the facilitative style jungler. He can play that little bit more slow and controlled style that maybe Team Liquid is a little bit more accustomed to and maybe fits a little bit better in with Jensen and his play style. So to me, that made all the more sense. Now, this doesn't work out perfectly because, uh, you know, Yankos has that streaming career. Yankos, would he want to come to North America, especially at this stage in his career? Would G2 want to get rid of him? Would they want to move on? Who knows? Another option we know is that S of M, uh, the jungler from Sooning Gaming this past year at Worlds, he has talked about previously how he saw how Sword Art went to North America and got all this money, how he could maybe consider going to North America in the future. Now, that's another jungle option. Obviously, there would be a slew of Korean, Chinese junglers, probably even some other European junglers as well. That would be options for Team Liquid. But it seems like, you know, at least to me and some other people in the community, that a lot of things are lining up for Team Liquid to potentially go after an import jungler in 2022. So this just kind of got me thinking, got the wheels spinning. I think that Yankos, for Team Liquid at least, would make a lot of sense. I don't know if it would make a lot of sense for Yankos. Obviously, they throw a ton of money at him. So if he wanted to be rich, 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 it would be great. And, and depending on how Team Liquid does this year, depending on how G2 does this year, I think this is pretty dependent on whether or not G2 is able to win Worlds. I think if G2 uh, kind of falters, you know, they're, they're not off to the hottest start this season. They've looked good some games. They've looked bad some games. Uh, I believe they're 5-2 and two right now in the LEC. So they're, they're good, but they're not unbeatable or anything. If they go to Worlds and they get knocked out in the semifinals or something that'd be pretty disappointing for how just star studded this team is and how high their expectations are carlos might be looking to make some changes he might be looking for an upgrade and for the most part that team is pretty hard to upgrade but some people do see self-made as an upgrade over yankos or at least it would be something different for the team if you know the same roster it kind of isn't working out for them so that could be an option which would then put yankos out on the market and he would have a decision to make um, of what all of his options would be but man if team liquid uh throws out some huge chunk of money we see the money being thrown around to perks to sort out guys like that and yankos is uh, on that level of player he has the credentials he has the history of the past um to be one of those guys that's worth an insane amount of money could he pass that up would he pass that up and also team liquid uh you know i personally see them as the best team in north america right now pretty clearly they won the lock-in tournament i think they have a chance to go to worlds i think they have a chance to be the first team in north america to make it out of groups in the last three years i personally think they have the talent to make a semi-finals run at Worlds. so uh and and that's with this team right now Obviously, most people would say that Yankos would be an upgrade over Shantori. So if this team could get an upgrade, they suddenly quietly could be building one of the best teams in the world in North America. They would have a very, very solid player at every single position. Uh, and they would have players with pedigree. Obviously, Yankos, MSI champion, world finalist. Core JJ is a world champion. They would be building up you know, a, a team with just such a solid core and a solid base. I think this could be something that works out. Now, again, this is so much rumor, so much speculation. We have no idea what's even going to happen in 2021 yet, but it seems like there is a potential world where things are kind of lining up for a move like this to happen. Now, again, Applehead, he has to say, personally, he'd love to see self-made on TL. He feels his attitude, attitude, mindset, and play style would make TL a monster of a roster. He doesn't feel he really fits in with the current iteration of Fnatic. Uh, and he said in TL's environment, imagine Core and self-made both on one team with insane mindsets, always looking to improve. Uh, he doesn't think Santorin's bad. He just thinks he's really replaceable. I completely agree. Um, because yeah, there's not a lot of great options for mid lane or AD carry, or like realistic options for mid lane AD carry. Obviously, people are going to say, oh, you know, TL Chovy, TL Faker, stuff like that. But they just locked up Jensen to a big, I think, three year contract worth a ton of money. Like it seems like they're pretty set on Jensen. They've locked up Core JJ. They've locked up Alfari. It seems like Jungle would be the one place where something like this could make sense. Again, this is all purely hypothetical. I, I do believe that uh, you know Santorin is a great is a great jungler. I think he's going to have great results for Team Liquid this season, but if this team does falter, if they fail to get out of groups, so they get knocked out at quarterfinals, if they're not dominant in North America, they could be looking to make a change in the next season, and that 
would make a ton of sense and this is definitely a guy they could throw some money at also um the fact of just what's going to be going over on in europe uh where Fnatic has self-made whippo and hillisang all of their contracts expiring next season so it does become more and more likely that Fnatic could be kind of blowing up that roster as crazy as that sounds especially um depending on how they finish this year if they're even able to qualify for worlds who knows europe's really really competitive this year so then self-made would for sure be on the move and that would you know give them a ton of options whether it's liquid whether it's g2 whether it's you know some other if vitality is able to put together a super team or whatever um and there's so many little dominoes that if this guy goes here then this guy can go here and, and each player really kind of relies on what decisions the other players make all the teams uh and we've seen in the past offseason how that's worked once one guy decides what he's doing uh it really kind of sets the whole thing in motion so there's so so many different moving parts here but i do believe there is at least some kind of world where team liquid and santorin uh team liquid and yankos could at least be in talks could at least kind of get the ball rolling to see what's going on the contracts line up the rosters line up uh the players the money everything just seems to make sense and we know uh tl is not afraid to spend paid by steve not afraid to go make some big risky moves and see what happens but uh yeah that's just my thoughts and opinions on everything uh hopefully we hopefully we can get your guys as well but that's pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it, it helps me out so so much with youtube algorithm and i would really really appreciate that uh le leave a comment down below let me know what you think about this whole situation who do you think is going to be Team Liquid's jungler in 2022? Do you think it could be Yankos, self-made, a Chinese jungler, a Korean jungler, somebody else entirely? You think Santorin's coming back? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on anything we talked about in today's video. Subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace!